Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Today I'm going to be bringing you this look right here, which is a full glossier look. I haven't done one of these videos in a while and I'm really excited to bring you another brand focused video since I did that one recently with Ritual de Fee and you guys really enjoyed that so I thought I'd bring you another. If you'd like to see this brand focused glossier video and makeup look, then please keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to be starting off with is my skin and I have the Glossier Priming Moisturizer right here. I did have the full size of this, so I have the little sample that they put in with the packages now and I am just going to be working this into the skin. I really love the Priming Moisturizer. I think that it is a really fantastic product. The next product I'm going to use is the Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. This has a factor of 35 and it is a chemical sunscreen, not a physical, which means that it is not going to leave that ghostly cast on your skin, which makes it fabulous for anyone of any skin color. And I'm just going to take three pumps of this onto my hands and work it into the skin. The Glossier products say to use the SPF over top of the priming moisturizer, so that is what I do. And I think SPF is absolutely important every single day. If you're going to even be in just a sunny room, it doesn't matter if you're not in direct sunlight, sun can still get to you. So this is such an important step for me. Onto the base, I have a couple of products here that I have used a bunch. There are a couple of new Glossier products peppered in here, but for the most part, I have used everything today before. So I have my Glossier Skin Tint in light right here, and then I have my Stretch Concealer also in light number 10. I'm going to start off with the skin tint, giving it a shake. I really like just dripping it onto my face because it has almost no coverage. It's more of like a watery product with some pigment in it more than it is like a foundation. It's not really a foundation at all. To work this into the skin, I am just going to be using a Real Techniques buffing brush and working it in. I think it's a really big mistake using a beauty blender with the skin tint because it already offers almost no coverage. It really just evens out color. Using a stiff buffing brush is going to be your best bet to getting the maximum coverage from this product. And even if you like a sheer complexion, you don't, you still want to be able to see that this is doing something to the skin. Now with my stretch concealer in light, this is actually a really well-loved product. I'm going to pick up my MOTD Cosmetics Mr. Handyman brush, which is my favorite concealer brush at the moment, and really swirl that into the jar. And I'm just going to apply this around the corners of my mouth, which is where I get very, very dark pigmentation and underneath the eyes. You want to still be sparing with this product because it is very emollient. So I'm going to leave that there and then I'm going to take a dampen beauty blender and work that in. And this, just because it's a little thicker, reacts better to the beauty blender than to a brush just melts into the skin a little bit better. You can absolutely leave the skin here, but personally I'm going to run in with a concealer right now. Every product that I use today that is not focused on the Glossier brand is going to be in the down bar, but I'm just going to hop off camera and spot conceal with that, and then I'll be right back. Now that I've evened out my skin as much as I want, I am going to go off camera and cream contour just really quickly. Glossier does not offer a contouring product, so I'm just going to personally do this, but I will be right back with you as well. Now that I've contoured, toward I'm definitely feeling a little bit more myself. As you guys may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of blush, especially as I've gone this gingery hair color. I think blush really adds a lot to my complexion. And my two favorite colors of the cloud paint are the colors Beam and Dusk. Beam is more of a traditional peachy pink, and then Dusk is a pinky brown, which is really beautiful as kind of a bronzy blush color. I'm personally going to go with Dusk today, but I do love, love the way that Beam looks on my complexion. I think it's gorgeous. They offer berry tones as well as baby pink tones, so please go try these out. I feel like if I had to recommend any product to someone just trying Glossier, it would be this, and the boy brow, which I will touch on very soon. So I'm literally taking like almost no product, just like a little tiny baby droplet of dusk on the back of my hand here, like the tiniest amount. This is very pigmented product and I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics 123 brush and 
swirl the product on. This is a duo fiber brush, so it's fantastic for cream blush. And I'm just going to stipple that into the cheeks. The way that I would describe this product is almost like watercolor because it goes on quite sheer if you layer it and kind of use it sparingly, but the finish that it leaves is so effortless and so stunning that it gives you a radiance, but it also looks very natural and just like the texture of skin. I think that powder products are amazing for longevity. Something that's so wonderful about cream products is that it does not look heavy on the skin. Everything really sinks in and looks knitted together. That's kind of the look of Glossier, is very effortlessly like flawless and gorgeous. And uh, I don't remember who said this, but someone said recently that Glossier was makeup, makeup and skincare for like perfect looking people. And I definitely relate to that in a sense that there are a lot of products to the side here that I'm implementing in because I don't have perfect skin. I've got breakouts, I've got texture, but it's the look of the finished product of the Glossier Girl is so desirable and so gorgeous that like effortless radiance. So that's what I'm trying to achieve today anyway. Next up are another standout product in my opinion and they are the Halo Scopes. These are the cream highlighter sticks. I have them in the color Quartz and Moonstone. Moonstone is definitely more of that really white, purpley blue toned opalescent kind of color. And then Quartz is more of that shimmering champagne color. So I'm gonna go with Quartz today. And I'm just going to warm this product up on my finger and apply it to the top of the cheek. And this isn't my most radical cream highlight. This is definitely more subtle, but the finish that it offers is so stunning. I, I just can't imagine being without this kind of a cream product. Because there are a lot of creams on my face right now, and even though my skin is on the drier side, I am not impervious to sweat or getting warm or my makeup melting a little, I'm going to take a little bit of powder. This is not a Glossier Wow. This is not the Glossier Wowder. I personally am happy with the powders that I have, so I did not choose to pick up that product. So I'm just going to very quickly run through powdering my T-zone. So after powdering, what you can see is that it just took down some of the kind of sweatiness that lives like right here between the apple of the cheek and the side of the nose. So it makes me look still very luminous, but it doesn't take away the sheen and the natural health of the skin, if that makes sense. So now that my skin is done, I'm just going to pull you guys in and we're gonna work on eyes and brows. So off camera, I'm going to run a teeny bit of brow pencil through my brows and I will be right back. Now that the brows are shaped and colored, I'm going to go in with the Glossier Boy Brow, and this is in the clear formula because I don't want to deposit any color. I want to make sure that they're all going in the direction that I want, so I'm just going to comb the fronts of them straight up and then backwards towards the tail. Now onto the eyes, I'm going to be using the only brand new product to me from Glossier, and this is the Glossier Lid Star, and I have this in the color Moon. If you guys know anything about me, you know that I love glossy eyes, and I love really pale, shimmery colors. So what I'm going to do is just swipe this onto my eyes. Apparently, you don't need a primer with this product, and I've never used it before. It has a little doe foot applicator, so I'm literally going to swipe this onto my lids. And I do have some natural discoloration to my lid, so I'm just going to work it in and let that stay as a shadow of sorts. And I'm just tapping the product in. It's almost like not even showing up. I'm gonna go in with a little more and see if it can be built up a little. But I love just wearing gloss on my eyelids. I just love the way that that looks. I think it's super, super beautiful. I think the thing about Glossier products is that everything is though very subtle. So you're not going to get something that's super pigmented. This is just gonna be one of those products that once again, I use almost like a gloss. So it's very quick. You just kind of pat it in. You can use a brush if you'd like but I like how quick and effortless that is. But I am curious to see if this creases at all by the time I'm done filming because normally cream shadows like this absolutely crease on me. I am going to go off camera now, curl my lashes, apply mascara to top and bottom lashes, and I will be right back to do the lips with you guys. 
All right, so now my eyes are done. I've added the mascara and this is the finished eye look. It's very simple. I think that that's kind of the thing about Glossier. Everything is incredibly simple. So now onto lips. I unfortunately have had really bad luck with all of the Glossier lip products. So I've tried the Generation G lipsticks. They irritated my lips. I do have the Glossier lip gloss, but personally with such a dewy face makeup and dewy eyes, I would prefer a lip that's a lot more understated than like high shine, high gloss. Because for me, I like there to be areas that are matte to my face. So because of that, I'm gonna be using a regular lipstick that's not Glossier. So uh, I am going to just run that over my lips now. Keeping with the theme of the makeup though, I am not going to leave it this shiny. What I'm going to do is take my finger, work this into the lip. I'm not doing a defined lip line at all. I'm literally just working this in as if this were my lip color. I hope you guys enjoyed this video focusing on the brand Glossier. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because that is how I get you guys content twice a week on this channel. And I hope you're all having an amazing day and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye.